Welcome to the Pete's Google Site Creator video tutorial. Okay, so first of all, I'll select an existing uh, project uh, to get the main Google site to rank. Use your main keyword here and that becomes a part of the URL of the Google site that you are creating. Click next. This is where you enter your keywords. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Generally I use six, five or six, or eight is about the maximum I like to use. You can load up more, but that is the preferred amount. If you have more than that, I'd prefer to split them in half and use them on separate projects. Here is where it gets fun. So this is where your article content goes. And obviously we use Spintax, which means the software will prepare a different version of this article for each page it creates the article on relative to how many keywords you've got. So if you've got eight keywords like I've got here, it will spin a different version of this article for each of those internal pages. So how do we get that? You'll notice I've got ChatGPT loaded up. I'll give you an example of exactly how I do this. So we use ChatGPT 3.5. I prefer 4, but if you haven't got, if you're not paying for it, you can use 3.5 for free. And this is the type of prompt that I use to create the articles. Okay, so here's the prompt. You are the best SEO article writer in your world. I would like you to create a 1,000 1, word article. So you can change the 1,000 to 200, 500, 2,000, whatever you like. Article on the topic of fishing charters on the Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. Now that's where you put your keyword phrase and if it's uh, using locations, whack the location in there. I would also like you to add spin text to this article you write for me. There needs to be at least 60% of the article having used spin text. Very, very cool. Make sure the spin text does not affect any of the SEO related keywords on the topic of the article. Also add at least five great SEO headings in this article. And this is what it produced. Very, very cool. Now, you can see the spin text in there. And it doesn't use spin text on any of the keyword related words. Now that is awesome, so I will grab that. Copy, grab the software, control A and control V, and there you go. All that content is in there. I will put this prompt in the description of the video that you're watching, so you can copy and paste it and just change the article word count and the niche to what suits your project. Now here we have HTML. This is my favorite online HTML editor and it's at onlinehtmleditor.dev. So you can put whatever you like in here and there's the source code which you copy into the software. So you can use it for embeds, iframes, or if you want an iframe editor, the easiest place to use is iframe-generator.com and you can put whatever you like in there to create iframes for your embeds that go into the uh, body of the Google sites. So you can create HTML here for your links, etc. Iframes here for your embeds and they go into this section here of the software. So whatever HTML you put in there will appear on the pages of the sites created by Pete's Google Site Generator. Very, very simple. This is where you enter your Google account. So to add a Google account, put your Google account there, put your password in there, then click on add new Google account. If you want to get rid of one, right click on it and delete it. Very simple. OK, 
Okay, nearly done. So now all we need to do is load up, load up images, put in the exact address from your Google business profile, and then that will embed that in the Google site, the main URL of the site you're promoting, and YouTube videos. So with this, it will randomly choose one of these images each time it creates an internal page. So the higher quality the, video, the, the images, the better, obviously. The more you have, the more chance there are of them being random. So let's click on an image. Perfect. So you put in the main address, as I said. The URL. Now with the YouTube videos, it's important if you have clients' videos, use those. If you want them to rank in YouTube, use the videos that you want to rank in YouTube, put them in here. And what's most important is that you have decent links in the description of these YouTube videos because look, because this software is so easy to run, you will run it over and over and over and you will get tons and tons of Google sites with internal pages all over uh, Google. And so you pro you're providing tons of tiered links to the links inside the description of these YouTube videos. Now, the software will randomly choose one of these links each time it creates an internal page. So you can have one video there and it will be display displayed on each of the internal pages. Or you can put more in there and the software will choose randomly. Also, if you want the videos to rank in YouTube and Google Organic, put links back in the HTML se section a few pages ago, or in this section here, the HTML additional. Put direct links to the YouTube videos and that gives them better, uh, you know, gives them more links. So that's it. I will run this with only two keywords just to speed it up and then I'll show you the results exactly what this project looks like. So you go there, click on start, so in the background the Google site software is logging into Google we keep that hidden then the preview window will come up and you can see exactly what the this automation software is doing for you on your behalf Here's the PDF that I created and I'll show you exactly what the site looks like. That's one. There's the other one. Now what I do is grab these URLs, copy and paste them into indexmenow.com and boom, they're indexed within like 12, 24 hours and ranking and sending beautiful links to your sites. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.